praise the Lord and hallelujah. We give God all the glory. Father, we thank you so much for the gift of life and also for the many things, my Lord, you've done for us. Because you rule and you reign, Father, we'll also continue to rely on you. Thank you, our everlasting Father. We bless you. Today, too, we pray that you have your way in our meeting. Please speak to us, O God. Let us understand you better in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We'll take our devotional reading from John chapter 17, the verses 1 to 5. John 17, 1 to 5. Let's hear the word of God. The heading says the prayer of Jesus. After saying all these things, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. For you have given him authority over everyone. He gives eternal life to each one of or each one you have given him. And this is the way to have eternal life, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you sent to earth. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, thank you, Jesus. We thank God for his word. Jesus, from John chapter 14, had been talking to his disciples, had been was praying for them and all that. He has prayed a prayer that has, he, he has prayed a prayer that um, is for all his disciples, not only those who were present when he was talking. And we are all involved. And today he's telling us that the Father should glorify himself so that he will also glorify the Father. So whatever God uses us for, it is to glorify him. Hallelujah. And that he said, anyone the Lord has given to him, he will lead to eternal life. Yes. So anyone who accepts Jesus has eternal life through Jesus Christ. And the way to have eternal life is to know God. Do we know God? Do we actually know him? If we actually know him and the sort of God he is, we will pay reverence to him. We will not be disobedient, but always obedient because he knows the end from the beginning. And when he says a thing, he knows what he's saying. Hallelujah. And... Jesus was told, telling God that he had brought eternal, he has brought glory to this earth by completing the work God sent him to do. Yes, his father sent him to come and die, to come and save souls for him. And this is exactly what he came to do. Jesus, you are too good. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, now we see here that Jesus was talking to the father concerning us. He said, now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. So, all these things, all these sayings, uh, proves that Jesus is God. Proves that Jesus came from heaven and he was returning to heaven. Right now, he sits at the right-hand side of God, the Father Almighty, interceding on our behalf. In the same way, he is here with us as the Holy Spirit. He lives in us. He lives in us, and He is with us. No one can understand the mystery of the Trinity. Suffice to know that Jesus is God. He said, I and my Father are one. And when I, he, one time He was telling His disciples that I will go, and then I will bring you another advocate. Now, that Spirit is with you. But the Spirit will come again and live in you. All these sayings, if we allow the Holy Spirit to digest it for us, to help us understand it, it means that it is He, Jesus. It is Him who, has, who is in the form of the Holy Spirit. He went, he, he, he died and resurrected. We saw Him 
or his disciples saw him going up in this body, but he came back as the Holy Spirit who will be with us till the end of the age. God, we thank you so much that you love us. You love us so much that you will not allow us to end in destruction. Help our unbelief and help us to remain focused until you come again to take us home. We pray that you give us the strength, O oh God, also to tell people about you and to let them know how powerful and awesome you are. We commit this day into your hands that you have your way. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.